We've got a paramedic in the area. Could I get him down as soon as he comes? Of course, we the wrong way. Of course, we can't get up. No idea where the synagogue is. choking on his, um, whatever he had in his mouth, all this blood and guns and stuff before. That's, they moved him onto his side of touch. How old are you, Ted? <laughs> you know what day it is? <laughs> all right. You, you control his head, Pat. Okay. okay. Three, one, two, three. All the way down. Stick him on there, just like that. Right. And we'll move him along. Come down there. Want me to go the other, the other side? Sorry. Yeah, he's on the other side. I've got him here. You, you, you say when, Pat. Two, three. Two, three. Right. We're lifting down onto the floor now. Just hang on a sec, we're going to have to take this with us. Ah. Yeah, it's just left. It's that bag there because it's got the oxygen in it. Yeah, but we'll wash your bag. Right. Right, just take your time. Don't take your time. Slip. No need to rush. Okay. He'd obviously fallen down some marble stairs a distance of maybe 15, 20 feet. He was unconscious. He'd been there an unknown length of time prior to our arrival. Quite serious injuries from what could have been taken as a, a, a simple fall. Okay, Ted. Mm. All right, I'm getting into the ambulance uh, yeah. now. You have to balance things when you arrive there. The length of time it's going to take you to hospital, the length of time to perhaps move the patient from where they are to the ambulance, all these things have to be balanced. The length of time that is spent giving treatment in the field as opposed to rapid transport to hospital. Can you hold my arm, Ted? It's part of the skill of being a paramedic, knowing when to apply the skills and knowing when not to apply them to prevent wasting time. All things have to be taken into consideration very quickly and decisions have to be made whether it's going to be rapid transport or whether we're going to treat unseen. 